face Coach Pryor here in the coach's classroom, and we're talking now about the batting tee and soft toss. Uh, we talked about the phases, and we need to talk a little bit about the batting tee and soft toss and how to uh, execute and facilitate those drills correctly. So let's get right into the batting tee and talk a little bit about these first two points. You know, are you teaching the correct muscle memory uh, when you're using the tee or with your soft toss setup? So here's the question I would ask. You know, I see a lot of kids use a batting tee, like I'll see the rec ball players using a batting tee or you know, high school coaches and, and college coaches for that matter, you know, or players, and they got a batting tee right here. And, and here's the deal, you know, if you understand what you're doing and how to use a batting tee, then, you know, that's fine. Then, you know, you, you, know, you don't necessarily need to have a reference point like we've talked about here, the reference point. You know, I like guys to use a reference point. You know, hey, if you understand the concept of your swing, you understand your contact point, and all of that jazz, and you're inside, outside, down the middle pitch, and where you're going to be, and you're setting the tee up in the right place, fantastic. But I realize that a lot of young kids don't have all of those concepts with the hitting zone and blah, blah, contact points and all that jazz, so we got to kind of break it down a little bit. So, But let me give you an example. I'll walk up to a field, and I'll see kids up here, and they're just hitting off of a tee. So they're here, and they're going, all right, and they're just hitting the ball. All right, they're just, they're just getting some swings in. And I go, hey, hey, that's pretty good. So I'm, I'm set up right here. Let me get a reference point. Okay, here's my here's my foot. Okay, and I'm, I'm taking some swings. I'm right here. Okay, boom, hitting the ball. Okay, and I go, hey, what are you working on today? And they go, ah, just working on, you know, driving the ball. Um, some kids might say, hey, I'm working on the outside pitch, you know, because it's, you know, it's out there a little bit. I go, okay, well, that's cool. I said, all right, well, that's, yeah, that's great. You're getting some work in. I said, let me just see something here real quick. And then what will happen is I'll go grab a plate. And I'll look at where they were standing, and I'm like, okay, well, you stand right here. You know, let's put a plate down, and let's kind of see, you know, if you're, if you're kind of right there, and let's move this out a little bit, and I'm going to get measured up, and I'm about right there. Okay, so I'm about right there. Okay, so I'm all set to go. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to work on them. Say, okay, is that where you set up in relationship to the plate? And I'm like, yeah, that's about where I'm at. All right, good. Now take your swing. Okay, what am I working on there? And a kid might say, hey, the outside pitch, I'm just working on grooving the ball. And I'm like, yeah, hey, that's great. You're not working on a strike. That's great that you're working, but you're hitting that outside pitch forward. That pitch needs to be hit back here because we've already talked about that in, you know, in our, our hitting zone uh, sequence or series. So, I mean, that ball should be hit back here. It's outside of the zone, so it's not even a strike because it's not over the plate. We're not working on anything. We're not working on anything. It's just a bad rep. So, you know, work with a reference point so that you can actually put the pitches well, like what we talked about with the hitting zone, all right? When we talked about the hitting zone, we talked about where the ball location needed to be. So just a, just a quick reminder on this. We said, here's the plate. Here's our home plate. You know, we have our down the middle pitch, we have our inside pitch, and we have our outside pitch. And we're creating this line, okay, on a right-handed batter. This is kind of the sequence of where we're gonna make contact. So what we do is we set the tee up in that same scenario. So if I'm working off the home plate and I have a reference point, and whether I'm working, you know, outside pitch or my inside pitch, okay, I've checked up here, I'm here, I'm going to get my stride, and I'm going to get through, and i got to get this moved out now a little bit, because I know where I stand, okay, I stand right off this front corner of the plate, I get my distance, and I'm going to get my stride, and I'm going to get through, okay, so I'm going to be about right there, and I might even be able to go out just a little bit, because i got a pretty aggressive stride, okay, so I'm set up here, Okay, I'm right there, boom. Okay, I got my power L, everything we talked about in our, in our series. Now I'm connected, I'm there, and now I'm gonna push through the ball and finish. Now this ball is gonna drive left center to right center. And it doesn't matter if the ball's here or if the ball's all the way up here. You know, up here, across my letters, okay? That ball, if, I, if I'm going to swing at it, I'm gonna be right there, and that ball still gets driven up the middle okay but if you see the relationship now 
Okay, so we take this out, and I'm going to take my inside pitch. Okay, now I'm working on my inside pitch. I'm set up in the same place. I'm getting through. Okay, good part of the bat. Power rail, extend through, and finish. Okay, let's go to the outside pitch. This is all the stuff we talked about in that series with the hitting zone. Okay, so we're going to take and put the T out here to our outside pitch. Based on where I set up, we're going to get here, okay, and I'm going to push through and finish. So you can see I have this relationship, this relationship with my bat for my inside, down the middle, and outside pitch. And you can lay your bat there, knob, center, into the bat, outside, middle, inside. So the point that I want to make is that when you work with a T, Make sure that the T gets set up into your hitting zone. And remember, you know, you're inside the pitch and down the middle pitch, this is your hitting zone. Where we have this relationship, if we move back and our feet are back here, okay, the zone moves with us. If our feet move up here, the zone moves forward. So the hitting zone moves with us based on the relationship that we have with the home plate and where we set up. And, and then of course, you know, how aggressive is our stride and our forward movement uh, will depend on where our contact point is. But don't have a kid have a reference point and then have the tee here for down the middle, okay? And he's set up right here and now you've got him swinging, okay? He's swinging late. Look where my bat's at. That's down the middle, but I'm swinging late Okay, or I'm, you know, I'm right on time, but my bat's in an in a, in a outside pitch swing. Okay, now I'm in this position. Okay, I drive the ball to right field, but I'm late. And we know that's really kind of a teaching a bad rep right there for the most part. Um, you know, can you drive the ball there late? Absolutely. You hit the right field, you drive it there, you're late, the guy beats you a little bit. It's not a problem. A hit's a hit. You know, 300 is 300. But ideally, you know, if we're going to recognize these pitches and hit these pitches for effect, meaning inside pitch goes to right field, or I mean to left field, to the left field line, to the left center, down the middle, left center to right center, and the outside pitch to right field line to, to right center, we're hitting the ball where it's pitch. We're hitting it for effect, okay? So um, not always gonna work that way because you get beat, you get an off speed pitch, whatever, but look, let's train the right way and let's train with a reference point at all times. I don't care if you lay a, a baseball glove down, uh, you lay a, a, the lid, the lid to the buckets a lot of times we'll lay down, uh, but put a reference, draw a home plate in the dirt, uh, whatever you got, put a reference point down. But work with a reference point so the relationship is a lot better, okay? So that's important. Um, make sure that you get that set up so you get good muscle memory, you get good reps, and you're on your way to hitting like a rock star. Again, Coach Pryor, and that's the rock star way.